Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Good morning, everyone. This will be the second session, the final session under the title Radiation Detection Technique Training. And I will go very quickly through the five part required in this session. The first one, introduction to computer based training program, radiation overview, introduction to radiation detection equipment, main operation of radiation detection equipment, verification of alarm and confirmation of incidents. Okay, let's start with the first one. This is just a quick welcome, so we'll continue here. You have to ensure that you press all these buttons to activate the next to you have to click in any of these arrows so continue will appear here so press next then continuous continue again okay, now you have to know your key role you have before we come to the objective of this training course we shall talk about your role in global nuclear security as a frontline officer working at a border cross or in any other checkpoint or even if you want to use uh, these detector detectors and in, uh, in the field of the medicine okay the incident this is still again for from this course will prepare you to deal with uh incident involving radioactive materials the goal to increase your awareness for effective radiation detection system at the border across and other checkpoints and to increase your overall detection competence to effectively verify and confirm an alarm by radiation detection equipment and to strengthen your operating capability of radiation dete detection equipment. Okay, uh, IEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency is the world center of cooperation in nuclear field. It was set up as the World Atoms for Peace Organization in 1957 within the United Nations Federal. You have to press these two photos so the next will be activated for you. And uh, the agency work with it is 150 member states as of September 2009 and multiple partner worldwide to promote safe, secure and a peaceful nuclear technology. The IA work for the safe, secure and peaceful uses of nuclear science and technology. Okay. And the IA and nuclear security plan, security plan 2006 and 2000 uh, nine in, in, uh, in September 2005, the IA board uh, a governor to approve of nuclear security plan cover a period from 2006 up to 2009. The objective of nuclear security plan is to achieve improved worldwide security of nuclear and other radioactive material in storage and transport of associated facility by supporting member of state in their effort to establish the maintain and sustain effect national nuclear security regimes through the implementation of relevant international legal instruments. When we talk about global nuclear security, this includes the prevention, detection, response, and response to malicious act involves nuclear and other radioactive material. To address the state 
as the states need to strengthen the second line of defense, the IEA has developed this computed-based training course to enhance capability of staff working in the area of nuclear security with the responsibility to detect and response to act involving nuclear and other radioactive material. So your contribution, we have covered the fact that this computer-based course has been created as a part of a nuclear security plan to protect against nuclear tourism. And you can see that contribution you can give is considered to be very important to the success of the plan. what you will learn. So let's see how this course is going to help to do this. By the end of this course, you will have a better understanding of radiation, know how to work the basic function of radiation detection equipment for a nuclear security application, and know when and how you will need to use them, be prepared for an equipment alarm and how and know what to do to verify our response to it. Course structure. Let's have a look at how the course is structured. So you are currently working through module one, which is introductory module. When you have finished this module, you will go uh, on to complete a four learning module radiation overview. This will be the second module. And the third module will be introduction to radiation detection equipment. And please, if I go very quickly, please read all the details and appear in front of you. The module four is the main operation of radiation detection equipment. And module five is a verification of alarm and confirmation of incidents. So we have a two scenario. It is not required from you, okay? And if you're interested, there is a short assessment by the end of this training after completing the scenario, and you will get certificate from the IEA and ensure to start with writing or registering your name to be appear like what you would like to appear in the certificate. Okay, resources, resources. When you have finished this course, you will be free to revisit any of the video. And by this, we end now and we will go back to the main menu after completed. You can see here it was completed and two, three, four, five, incomplete. We will start second module, radiation overview. So in this module, we will go through the basic of radiation, the different type of radiation, the effect of exposure to radiation, and how to stay safe when dealing with radioactive materials. Knowledge check. How much do you already know about radiation, and which of these statements do you think are false? Any exposure to radiation will result in your development, developing tumor cancer or uh, sterility. If we select and to check our answer, there is not right. Try again and you can select B. I will select random and you have to read this information. Okay. So the answer in all of them is right. None of these statements are completely true. So how did you think we are right? There are general lot of confusion about radiation. So let's find out about the real fact without myths like these. The structure of atoms. We know that atom consists of proton, neutron, and electrons. These are the electron with a negative charge and the nucleus composed of proton with a positive charge and neutron, which is a neutral 
have not any job. And maybe you know that not all atoms are stable. So the number of protons here not equal the number of neutrons. And one of these particles try to release it outside the nucleus, okay, in the other form like beta or like gamma and like this. This we, we call it unstable nucleus. There are different types of radiation as it's come out of the nucleus, as I said, the beta or alpha or even gamma or neutrons, all these type of radiation. And in a gamma radiation, an electromagnetic wave is limited from the nucleus as the atom try to become stable. Ionization radiation emitted by stabilizing atom is strong enough to displace an electron from another atom when it comes into contact with it. The removal of the electron caused by atom to become an ion, this process is known as ionization. So ionization is the aspect of radiation that can cause an electron signal for the detectors allowing you to detect and measure radiation. Or uh, biological damage to tissue, this is one reason why radiation can be hazardous to the human body. Type of radiation classify as ionizing, such as alpha, beta, gamma, neutron, cosmic radiation x-ray, which we use it commonly in medicine. And we have also non-ionizing radiation like radio infrared microwave, visible ultraviolet mobile. Check your understanding. How much do you understand about radiation now? Two of these statements are correct. Do you know which one? You have to select two. I will select randomly this and this but you have to know the correct answer. Okay, it's a, not a quick write. One of them is mean it's true and the next is not true. I will select again randomly. Okay, this is not right. Okay, and the right is an A and D, right? Radiation is an energy emitted by an unstable atom as it tries to become a stable and the ionizing radiation is strong enough to remove an electron from another atom that has come into contact with. This process allows you to detect a major radiation. Some equipment can also identify radioactive isotopes, but what the difference between hydrogen and deuterium and tritium? And hydrogen, the, one of the most common isotopes of the element hydrogen. It is stable for or stable isotopes. Deuterium, this is another form of hydrogen. We call the isotopes deuterium, okay? It is stable also, even though the structure of the nucleus is different. And we have a tritium and it is also another form of hydrogen, okay? So there is a structural variation of hydrogen called the isotopes of hydrogen, okay, like deuterium and tritium. An isotope is a variant of a basic element, is essential, the same material, but this atom have a different number of neutrons, okay? Although chemical similar, this difference can make an isotope unstable of radioactive, a radioactive isotopes called radionuclide. By detecting and measuring the emitted energy that is characterized this radionuclide, the equipment indicate what the isotope is. Different type of radiation. So we've seen that radiation released by radioactive unstable atom can take the form of a particle or an electromagnetic wave 
this means that there is there are a different type of radiation. The four most common type are alpha, beta, gamma, and neutron. Let's take a look at the properties of each one. Let's start with alpha. Alpha is a particle used with high energy. One particle consists of two neutrons and two protons. This large volume of a particle will only travel a few centimeters in air and can be stopped by thin paper or your skin. Alpha radiation would only harm you if sufficient quantity resides inside your body, either by swallowing, uh, breathing, or absorption of alpha emitted radiant light. What about beta? Beta is an electron or a positron, a much smaller particle. It can travel up to a few meters in air and can penetrate a paper and a skin, being stopping by a few centimeters of plastic or uh, light metal such as aluminum. It can be hydrized to an uh, organ close to the surface such as your, your eyes or your skin, and if it is inside your body. A gamma radiation is an electromagnetic wave. This can pass through a meter of concrete and water and travel kilometer in air. To efficiently shield it, you need a thick, dense material like lead or concrete. And what about neutron? Neutron radiation is highly penetrative and very few elements can weaken or absorb the energy. Hydrogen, an element of a water molecule, is one of the best moderators for neutrons. Since water make up most of our body, neutron can be very hazardous for us. It can detect neutrons, cool for expert support immediately. Alpha radiation is made of a large particle which can be stopped or shielded by very thin materials such as we said as a paper or, or your skin. And beta again here, beta is made of a smaller particle than alpha. And gamma here is the most penetrating of all these type of radiation seen in far. It may be up of electromagnetic wave rather than a particle. Detection properties gamma uh, and high energy beta radiation that your equipment will detect because alpha and a weak beta are not able to pass through the detector housing. They cannot interact with the crystal or detection medium inside, which means that cannot be detected for their detection. Other special detector should be used. Neutron is a highly penetrative, as we said, and can pass through all of the material with shield alpha, beta, and gamma. So we need for a moderator like hydrogen, as we said again. Check your knowledge now with this question. Consider what you have learned about different type of radiation and what material shielding. Can you identify which type of radiation cannot be measured by the equipment that you will be using? I will check randomly, alpha, beta, gamma. It's not quick right. Okay, only answer. The correct answer is F. So what the cosmic radiation, you can just put the cursor near the cosmic radiation. It is another source of natural background is a cosmic radiation coming from the sun and from outer space. When flying, you are at the higher altitude and therefore more exposed to this type of radiation. Uh, terrestrial radiations, the Earth emit these radiation which are exposed to the to, to through natural grown food such as some fruit and natural building material such as granite and uh, trachota 
roof tile or some type of agriculture uh, uh, fertilizers. Nuclear research people world, worldwide also receive a very small dose of radiation every year from nuclear power plant, fast testing of nuclear weapon or production of medical isotopes. Radiation is everywhere. So you have seen that radiation is actually quite common. If radiation is present in so many natural material and is used in a technical application, then I'm sure you can imagine that this highly like radioactive material will be passing through your border at some point. So let's look at that, some fact and figure about radiation that you help you to detect and deal with radiation properly. Count per second in this detector. Count per second, per second is the number of impulses per unit time that are detected. This number is proportional to the intensity of radiation field and should be used to detect and locate source Detection unit with a bigger crystal will show a higher count rate than those with a smaller crystal for the same level of radiation. Those is the measure of radiation received by absorbed by target for a human body equivalent dose and is the relevant, it is the relevant measurement of exposure, which include the weight factors for a type of radiation in a human body. The dose rate is the measure by your equipment and is the dose received in a certain point of a time. Dose rate is a measure in a server per hour, but it is more practical to work with a millisiever per hour or a micro server per hour. Your instrument and display a micro server per hour. Check the dose rate is important for your personal protection. Radiation is also commonly measured in the term of its activity. The activity of radioactive material is the number of its disintegration per second. The typical unit of measuring activity is the pucro. One pucrol is equal to one decay per second or one disintegration per second. Annual dose rate. The annual dose rate from natural background is an average of 2.4 millisiever per year. An annual dose rate limits for the general population is a one millisiever per year in addition to the background. And the limit for occupational worker is a 20 millisiever per year average over five years. We have some label for radioactive material, all package containing radioactive source, unless it's low exempt level must be clearly labeled with a transport label. So what this sign mean or what this symbol mean, okay? This symbol is an international radiation symbol. Uh, this is a content, a content described the isotopes being transported. When I hear the activity level of the isotopes, number seven, this is shipment classification. This number could be different from seven. This number is indicate that the shipment is a radioactive material and hazard goods classification system. And we have here category one, category two, and category three. This category is a number depend on the dose rate on the package service. And transport, transport index is the list for category two and three. Occupational exposure, you may be concerned that it sounds like your job. You have to read this to check your knowledge and try to answer. I will answer randomly and you have to check it later, okay? 
The risk of radiation, also we have seen that we are exposure to low level of radiation every day. We should forget, we should not forget that radioactive material may be hazards. Exposure and a contamination, a different between them. Exposure, if you stand near a radioactive source, you are exposed to radiation. You don't become radioactive. You are no longer being exposed once you leave this area. Contamination, radioactive material on or in your body, ingestion, inhalation, or eye uh, absorption, we call this a contamination. You are are radioactive until material are removed, uh, uh, are washed out of the body, leave your body or totally decay. The biological effect of radiation, if a cell exposed to ionizing radiation, the DNA could become be damaged directly or indirectly. And if a DNA is a damage, the cell will try to repair itself, which leads to three possible outcomes. Cell will be perfectly repaired or cell will be die if the damage was too significant and uh, irreparable. Cell mutation if the repair is incorrect. Effect of radiation. If the dose is above a certain threshold, approximately one suburb, many cells will die. This results in what are called deterministic or acute effect, which are not shortly after exposure and can include brain burn of skin, uh, radiation uh, sickness, blood chain. These, there are also late effects called stochastic, which do not have a threshold level, but are based on probability, which is proportional to the dose. Those include the tumor and cancer and hereditary effect. Radiation protection principle. Although these effects can cause by a much higher level of radiation, then you are likely to come across. It's still important to know how to remain safe. An important principle in radiation protection is optimization of radiation refer as a low as a reasonable achievable principle or what we call the LARA. This means the radiation exposure must be reduced to the lowest level possible, social and economic factor being taken into account. There are three basic principles to make sure the external radiation exposure is a lot of. They are time, we have to limit or to reduce the time when we deal with the radiation. But the second gold rule is distance. We have to uh, increase the distance so uh, greater the increase of exposure. Radiation can be absorbed or, or reduced by a material place around it, what we call the shielding, okay? And uh, remember the two factors that will allow, will always be in your control, which is a time and a distance. Those rate indicator. To stay safe, increase the distance between yourself and radioactive source to lower the dose rate. To stay safe, increase the distance between yourself and radioactive source to lower the dose rate. Avoid contamination. In an area where there is a possible contamination, radioactive material, Deposit on the surface from an unsealed or leaked source, the following precautions should be taken to avoid internal radiation exposure. Stay up wine. Don't smoke or eat or drink in this area. Avoid the area. Don't touch suspicious or suspect item. 
call expert support to remove the contamination and survey the area. Time distance shielding and detection as well as thinking about time distance and shielding when considering safety. And it's also useful to think about how these factors could influence your equipment's ability to detect and identify radiation. For example, if a person or a visual passes by your detector too fast, the equipment may not have a time to take a proper reading or radiation may be shielded by metal of the visual that it is being transported in. Also, if the detector is too far away from a people or traffic, you may not detect any radioactive material being carried this factor and was to stop them affecting your detection will be considered in general little later in this course. So check your knowledge. What kind of atom is radioactive? You have, I will select randomly, okay. Okay, and a stable atom. Normally I, I, I'm not, check all the answer, you have to check all your answer, okay? You have to check your model. What type of radiation is in term of a ray, an electromagnetic wave? This one, or this one, or this one. You have to select. And then press okay here, okay? So the right is a gamma. What the degrees safety particle would you try to control and make sure that your exposure to radiation is allowed? Summary, you have to read this summary and we'll go back to the third part, introduction to radiation detection equipment. In this module, module three, we will cover the reason for using radiation detection equipment the different type of equipment and their characteristic and introduction to each of four instruments that will cover more detailed factor that may affect the detection of radiation. So how equipment work? The instrument contains material which are sensitive to radiation, ionizing radiation. And when ionizing radiation interact with this material, an electronic signal is produced. After electronic processing, the instrument displayed shows the count rate and all those read. Once the count rate reach a certain level, the instrument will allow alt alerting the user to the uh, presence, uh, presence of radiation. A radioactive material emit radiation could be alpha, beta, gamma, or neutron at different energy. And all of the instruments we will present are designing to detect radiation, and some of them have capability to identify the specific radio uh, radioisotopes present based on this energy. A detector for frontline officer situation in your working environment such as the border or in the field uh, very different to nuclear facility and science, uh, scientific laboratory. We understand that you may not have much time to detect radiation and that it's uh, always possible to carry a large amount of, uh, of equipment with you. The detection instrument uh, you will be using have been designed especially for your need and make your job uh, easier. Let's look at some of the characteristics of the equipment. Equipment for use by frontline officer is suitable for indoor and outdoor use with a rugged waterproof casing and the ability to work in a wide range of temperature. And this instrument can be used a single handly and are uh, portable and have no external wires. It's a wireless. On the next screen, you will look at the different type of equipment that you might use in your job and what each of these can do. In this module, 
you will try you will familiarize yourself with each pieces of let us start let's start with rbm rbm it stands for radiation portal monitor it's a large fixed instrument often group Bent in a pair, which people are a visual pass through radiation is it thick. Second one, uh, PRD, PRD is the personal radiation detector, and the small portable instrument, the size of, of a mobile phone, which can be used to detect and find local radioactive material. RID. A radio nuclei identification device, a large hand held instrument that can be performed by a function of PRD, but can also identify radio isotopes. NSD, the neutron, neutron surf detector, a large handle held instrument that used to detect the neutrons. Okay. Quick quiz. Can you remember which type of equipment each of these instruments are? Select the statement is correct. I will select randomly. I don't want to answer. Randomly again, okay. Radiation portal monitor. Our BM are our large fixes devices. It's appear in your left side. Used at the border checkpoint or entrance to secure area uh, to detect and alert a front line officer to presence of radiation. They are used where people or visual traffic can be uh, funneled into chalk point before passing through the monitor BRM are more sensitive than handheld devices and provide a continuous monitoring of people, visual or luggage while minimizing interference with the flow of traffic. And PRM compared to the level of radiation with a, an alarm level, which is a calculated based on a background radiation. The moni this monitor has an occupancy sensor Occupancy sensor, which tell can tell when a person or visual or an object is in the detection area. If the area is occupied and the radiation level is raised above the set level, an alarm sounds. Future of BRM. Please read all of these. Gamma detection, control and communication unit, Optional, allow. You can pause the video and read slowly. Neutron detector, occupational sensor, battery. Come on, RBM configuration have a video and PC monitor system which track activity of PRM and can store information that may be useful to view again. Configuration of Bitzertens BRBM should be configured so that detection area is up to two meter high and between one and 1.5 millimeter wide of our signal and three meter is a monitor I use in a pair. Visual PRPM, the configuration of visual RBM is a slightly Different from that with uh, its train monitor. Its use of focal shall have vertical range of a two meter, where area track and train is shall be a four meter. The horizontal detection area for a visual monitor should be a maximum three meters for a single pillar and six meter for an RBM pair. There are most commonly installed at the border cross point, harbors, or at airport cargo entrance. Or they can be seen at the entrance and exit of nuclear facility and private company 
such as uh, scrap yard or steel mills. An RBM should be supported by the use of a handle detector such as a rat to locate unidentified material. Again, quick quiz, read and answer. You have to read and I will select try and read. It could be wrong. It could be right. PR, the personal radiation detector. Detectors are small lightweight device which can be borne on the body and monitor radiation level during your duty. Unlike RBM, once a PRD has a detector radiation and emitted an alarm, it can also be used for localize or find a source of radiation. A PRD, there are two types of them. We have the thermal rad eye which is a device shown here being used. And for a bully master BM1703 is the other detector that can see in the image above. Both perform some same basic function, but are manipulated differently. As you will see in module five, in this module we will refer to them both when using the term PR. Uh, whichever model you have, your PRD is also useful personal safety device. Wearing it on your belt, you work mean that it's a source of radiation enter the area. So uh, you will be uh, altered by an alarm without having an actively looking for radiation with your detector. Of course, you can also use PRD in your hand if you want to specifically check the name. Okay, this is the Polymaster BM1703. What, what display it here? You can read what displayed here. This is a display screen or where the count per second or a dose rate is displayed. This is a clip, so you can use it fast in the detector to your belt. And here, this is an alarm light, which is a breaking rate light. We Show, uh, show that the level of radiation has arisen above the alarm level. And this button uh, to change the mode and light button, uh, switch on and off, sound on off, vibration on and off and like this. And in this here, this is the sensor area. This is plus here, okay? Sensor area is the position of the crystal with the most sensitive area to the radiation. Okay, I will stop here and we will continue in next video.